Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm feeling good. You look great. Thank you. There's a, uh, we were talking about you this afternoon, and there was a very, I found this a very amusing story, uh, and you fill in the details. Okay. Uh, you as a child, I don't know how old, riding with your father who liked to drive really fast. Yes. He's at one point, or maybe frequently, is pulled over by the police for speeding. A lot, yeah. And at one time, he asks you then to do, tell, you, you tell the story. Well, I think of it as the time when I was like, I really know I'm going to be a performer because my dad, he gets pulled over and immediately he's just like, Jenny, get out of the car and throw up. And I was like, now's my time. <laughs> and I was just, you know, like a normal kid would just be like, that seems illegal. These are the police of the policeman, yeah. you know, like the actual police. But I was just like, opened the door and was like, <laughs> <laughs> and just really did it. And I pretended to throw up into a snowbank and like my mom got into it. She got out of the car and was like, Jenny, and like rubbed <laughs> snow on my face. And my sisters started crying in the backseat because they were like, what is our family? And my dad was the only one who like couldn't play it cool. Yeah. And when they were like, what's going on here? This like crazy circus of Jewish people just barfing everywhere. <laughs> and he was like, my God, I was feeling ill. Like he could hardly, <laughs> he could hardly. But then I got back into the car, and I was just like, my sisters were like, "Oh my God, it was so amazing!" Yeah. And I had that like real immodesty that like really fancy like Shakespearean mm. actors have when they know they've done a good yeah. job. And I was just like, "Thank you so much." <laughs> Thank you so much. Seven years old, just and did you really full did of your it. dad get out of the ticket? Yeah, we didn't get the ticket. Oh, that's great. <laughs> It's, um, it's like uh, when the star uh, breaks her leg and the stand-in gets called up to, to be the, the principal in the show. Yeah, the light shined on me that day. <laughs> How old were you then? I think I was probably eight, mm -hmm. eight years old. Yeah, and it's an interesting way for my parents to have um, like always supported my acting career. Yes, it is. <laughs> Help keep daddy out of jail. Yeah, get out of the car and barf. <laughs> Uh, what kind of stuff did you do as a, as a kid in, in the college, high school? In college, did you work? Or did you, what did you do? Yeah, I had some, uh, some odd jobs, as we do. I worked, um, one of my grandfathers owned a liquor store, and one of them owned a candy factory. Wow. Life's there you essentials. Go. That's yes. Yeah. And I worked in the liquor store, and, um, which is an insane place to work, because um, there are a lot of, you know, a lot of people coming there and, and they want their liquor. Um, and I, you know, they just want it. Um, <laughs> but uh, the, I sold the lottery tickets, mm -hmm. and there was this one dude who came in every day, and he had a, like a really high voice, like a baby, and then his body was like, really lumpy, like it was just like a bag filled with muffins. Like, it, I, like when I first met him, I was like, is it a big baby? <laughs> is it an upset lady? Uh -huh. Or is it just like a man who I don't understand, right. you know? Um, and he would buy the tickets and, and I went over to my grandparents' house for dinner after work one day and I said, Papa, um, what's up with Frankie? And my grandfather just looked at his lamb chops and just went, Frankie. Yes, I thought he was a woman. <laughs> <laughs> like, what did you do? <laughs> for, for years. For years, I thought he was a woman. <laughs> now, let's talk about uh, Marcel the, the Shell. Yes. Uh, I, now, I, here's how dumb I am. I saw the video, and I thought, oh, it's a slug. It, it's not a slug. No, certainly it's not. It's not, not a snail either, is it? No, he's a shell, yeah. He's, he's a shell. Uh, some sort of a shell-born ocean creature. Yes, he's mm -hmm. a shell. He has one eye and two shoes. And two shoes, yeah. Um, and a face yeah. and um, and a personality and um, and like a little a little voice. I could do the voice if you okay, want well, me to. Okay, let's do get it. to the voice in a second okay. because I, I, this is a fascinating uh, evolution of your career. Sure. You're you're on Saturday Night Live mm -hmm. and and you go on the show and the they they cue you and and you, the first thing out of your mouth is oh <laughs> or it something. What? Something like that, and, and 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 they and 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 they said, okay, thanks, that was great, and and you're done. I am. Yeah, <laughs> but the, then from there uh, comes this project, yeah. which is uh, so wildly successful. Uh, it, it, tell us about uh, what, to fill in these blanks for us. Sure. Yeah, it's actually a, a beautiful story. I think. Um, 
<laughs> not that the first part is like an interesting story, um, and the second part is beautiful. I. Um, it was during a time, I think, when I really just wanted to be creative. It was like, I think I'm about to get fired from this thing, and uh, I don't know if I can even do anything. You must have you know? been crestfallen. Like, yeah, it was you know, heartbreaking, but, but there's lots of heartbreaks. And um, the best thing that my, my husband and I make this, these short films mm -hmm. together, his name is Dean Fleischer Camp. And, um, what was the inspiration? I was doing, we were in a hotel room, a small motel room at a wedding. It was me, my husband, my best friend Gabe, our friend Mike, and his husband. So there were like a lot of people in this tiny hotel room. And I started to feel really squished and small. And I started talking in the voice and just being like, I, I just, I, I, I'm all squished. <laughs> and then my husband had said that he would do, um, a video for our friend's little art show, and so he suggested that we make something, mm -hmm. and we just made it for ourselves, but then our friends liked it, so we put it on the internet. 23 million views or something, it may probably double that by now, mm -hmm. and uh, a best-selling book, and, yes. and it's a, a kid's, kid's book, but everybody really can enjoy it, right? Yeah, I think so. It's, uh, I think if you're a human with a nice beating heart, you'll probably yeah. find something to like. Sure. <laughs> Something even for Frankie, maybe. Yeah, Frankie. If he's a man or a woman, he will love my book. <laughs> and you have, uh, uh, you have, you're going to sing a, a little uh, song? Yeah. And, uh, okay. This is Marcel the Shell, and I, the song is self-explanatory. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. This song is a song that's a sad song, and I know this is a comedy show, but I'm just going to still sing it. It's, All right. it's called My Mother Got Lost in the Rug. Okay. <clears throat> My mother got lost in the rug. Oh, my mother got lost in the rug. She went walking in the rug and she died in the rug. Oh, my mother got lost in the rug. She was a sweet, sweet mother, but now she's lost. She lost her. <laughs> That's very sad. Oh my God. It is lost in the rug. Well, here's the. Uh, this is the second uh, book. We took a look at that earlier, and it's uh, for sale uh, now. Uh, and stores uh, October 21st, just around the corner. And uh, uh, this is exciting. And, and more videos, perhaps? Yes, yes. Um, go on to the internet, and it'll be there. Okay, that's all you need to know. <laughs> Jenny Slate, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with Foo Fighters and Rick Nielsen. Rick.